Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make something totally different. So if you are knitting, this is just for you. If not, I am sorry for the video today. So I have a few things here that I'm showing. These are glass beads. These are some special um, uh, jewelry wire. I have some wire cutters and I have these small metal pieces that you can kind of push together to make a um, connection on the wire. So I'm starting with this little connection piece and I'm placing that on top of both ends of the little wire that I cut off. And I'm pulling it up so that I have kind of a small loop up here. And then I'm just squeezing it together like that. Then you can put on different kind of beads whatever you have and you like just don't make them too big because um, that will be annoying if you are knitting really small if you are knitting in one to one this will actually be really nice for you also in a little bigger size but for smaller knitting please don't make them too big that will be annoying for you I end off with one of those beads that you squeeze together and squeeze it together and cut off the excess and there you have your first stitch marker um, and I will show you later how to use this I am going to make one more in a bit more close up so you can see exactly what I am doing so first I am cutting my wire off and you need to have this wire that is kind of having a plastic uh, outside. If you're using a normal wire, they will uh, break on you at one point and it's actually really hard to sit with. So it has to be this jewelry wiring thing, otherwise it's annoying. Placing this little bead that I can squeeze together like that. Then I am placing beads in the the order that I want them again please don't make the uh, beads thing here too big because you will have problems if you are having a big marker I'm ending off with a tiny bit of a white pearl here and then of course with these stubbers or what they are called placing that on both of the ends pushing it together and squeezing this little bead together and then I am cutting off the excess and there I have another stitch marker and I will show you how to use this in a second so hang on so here is how I am using the markers I am knitting towards where I have the marker and it's sitting on my knitting needle so I'm just bringing it from one needle to the other when I reach it uh, and I'm having these where I have something special color shift or uh, a pattern shift or something but here I just show you how to do this and this time I'm going to take it off just to show you how easy it is it is sitting on my knitting needle and I can just take it off and remove it if I want to and then just knit on if I don't need it anymore it's really really easy to do this so just grab it and pull it off or otherwise you can just of course use it again and put it over on the knitting needle that you're working with so it's really that easy to use these markers and they are not leaving any marks or anything in your uh, knitting things in your work um, and I'm going to show you here in a second uh, that this is not leaving any trace at all after these markers and I hope this will help you so thank you for watching and happy crafting